Captain's Log, Starlight 192.168.1.17. We've been stranded on this world for so, so long now that I can barely remember my life as a captain beforehand. We now appear to be driving trains around to try and expand the iron section here. Uh, that's mainly, if, if we go over, it's because uh, we... We really didn't do so well. As was pointed out by my ever-present science officer, Zedtech. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm good, Captain. Uh, I just forced the train to move, even though it's still full. Uh, yeah. We, we need to get over there, and we need to get our work going. The, uh, the train will go back and forth anyway, whilst we... Uh, Prepare the ground to, to move more iron. Iron appeared to be the thing that we were super, super short of. I love the wiggly trains. The, these are so good. Um, the thing that we were super, super short of, I nearly immediately ran across the train tracks afterwards. That, that would have been super clever. Uh, if I check out my map here and look at the factory, you can see that there is a, a definite lack of iron flowing through here. And the vast majority of the fault of that is the fact that we are running out of our original iron patch here. So we come over this way to, to try and fix this area up. But I've got to say, the trip over here, it's uh, left me with doubts. Oh? Yeah, um, I don't think this planet is of natural construction. Uh, what well, construction of natural formation. There are certain things around here that, that definitely lead me to think that maybe we're on some sort of advanced constructed planet of some description, maybe made by a, a progenitor race before us, or maybe made by the High Council themselves to, uh, to test our wit and... Uh, wit and and that adaptability in this area. I mean, it would make sense. I mean, uh, there was no way that I could actually have been the cause of a of a crash. I mean, not that not that it has ever been confirmed that I was the cause of the crash. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I just realized that this is a horrible way to power everything. This is this, this is a, a horrific way. We need at least one gap in between stuff. Should we uh, should we start ripping them all down? <laughs> uh, well, the top one doesn't need to be ripped down because the, there the, is a the gap. very top one. Oh yeah, no, I no, see, I see, I see, I see. But from here onwards. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well, what? So how do you feel? First off, do you do you recognise that this this planet, this world that we land on? Landed on uh, appears crashed. to be Captain crashed. We landed. We walked away. We had a good time. Just because the rest of the crew didn't manage to make it doesn't mean that we we crashed. It was a <laughs> it was a a landing that kind of lacked a certain style. I will admit that, but I think we did all right. Falling with style, brilliant. <laughs> Falling with style, indeed. We we know how this works. Okay, let's try and figure out how to power these through the maximum amount of coverage. Let's go up here as well. Should that get everyone? That got everyone there. Uh, we've got more going down over here, have we? Nice. All right, I will get this lower region here. Just just so we can start having iron oh, the spew noise. on the floor. Oh, my. It's oh, going to get quite quite intense. Uh, I, I currently am listening through in, uh, enhanced audio feedback from my, from my suit. <laughs> Uh, and yes, that that was quite loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Uh, in my amazing way of predicting what we need, I forgot to bring any power poles. Any power poles? Oh, I, I I have many power poles. I always carry a great deal of stacks. Am I? I, I am, however, out of red belts. Uh, I was planning on using yellow because we don't need really speed here. Uh, there's going to be a point where we're not going to be able to fit enough onto the belt. But I think we should uh, be alright. I'm going to rip this sub suboptimal setup down so that we can replace it with something a bit more useful later. I'm also going to put this one back because it was taking away this little, like, outcropping of iron here. Okay. And hopefully that will make it nice and tidy when we come to build this area down here. My inventory, even though it was expanded, is still full. <laughs> uh, I am currently full of wools and ammo, which I'm not. I'm not too ashamed about. Seems like a good thing to have. I have eight more. Yeah. I have twenty-two. Oh God, the noise! <laughs> it's quite 
quite intense. <laughs> Ah, uh, but that, that's our new life on this new planet. It's, uh, it's an intense struggle for survival. Which, again, I, I feel like is more of a, a, a test than an actual planet we've laid on. I, I feel like that we are being judged by the powers on our pie. Uh, the, 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 there are various things that give this away. If, for instance, I, I draw your attention to this blue stuff in the hole over here, they would have us believe that it is water. But I, I feel... Mainly from the fact that we have air-breathing creatures living all around us, the biters. I feel like there is an atmosphere here. It might not be breathable to us, but pressure exists on this planet. In fact, I, agree. Yeah. I can see your face, so pressure must exist on this planet. Uh, therefore, why is this water not evaporating and causing clouds? I have not seen a single cloud the entire time we've been here. And it's not because we're just in desert. There is forest here, so there must be... Well, if you pull, put your attention to the steam factory, uh, power plant, steam, yeah, the factory that produces steam, just steam, no, nothing else, uh, has put and put clouds on it. Ah, yes, yes. So uh, over, um, let, 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 let's use the map to to have a look. Over here at the power production plant, here here is steam escaping into the atmosphere. But where does it go? Where, even if it dissipates, even if this was a perfectly, perfectly dry planet, which the bodies of water speak against, surely, surely the steam would ha start to have some sort of effect on the planet's climate. I, I, I have this overlay on my uh, positional locator here that, uh, that, that, that shows me the p pollution spread. Surely this pollution would do something to the amount of water in the air. I, I've, I've seen experiments where it, all it takes is a, a fine particles in the air to bring the water crashing out well but that should be happening here uh, mainly my my main objections here is i don't believe that the water on this planet is water and therefore obviously there is a grand overarching conspiracy to test you and me mr science officer to make sure that we are the finest stuff that the federation needs well the steam is being produced at 165 degrees centigrade so it might be the case that you're it, it is not water. It, it could very well not be water. Maybe, maybe it's um, lithium glycol or something like that. I don't know if that's a real, real thing. Or maybe so, some of these fluids that they use in the, the far space technology as uh, coolants and lubricants uh, are more resistant to evaporation. And maybe that's what we've got in the pools over there. I don't know. Uh, but still, I, I fear this points towards this not being a, uh, a planet in the traditional sense. Oh, hello. Uh, our power satisfaction is nowhere near required. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. You are correct, science officer. We are producing about somewhere between a half and two thirds of the power that we need. Oh, more, more power. Although this will only work at night, so. A day. Yes. Oh, yeah, day. <laughs> oh, well, it would be a. A big achievement to have solar panels that work off moonlight. That, that would be pretty helpful. I do wonder on a sort of a back of the envelope calculation, how much light is possible to, to collect from the moon? How, mu how much, how many lumens per meter square falls down? Maybe lumens per meter square is not the uh, the, the units we want, but how, how much wattage is that? Hmm. I wouldn't know. And I, is the train arriving soon? No, I think it's still unloading. Um. Anyway, I'm basically that. That's a temporary soul plant field, I guess. Uh, there is a better design for it that incorporates also accumulators. Oh, really? Okay, that would be helpful. But this is quite nice. So accumulators to store the energy during the day and then yes. hand it back out at night. That that would be very useful, I believe. Uh, we can start making them. We also do need to start processing oil. <laughs> we do. The the one thing we appear to be missing is um, sulfuric acid and stuff like that, as this is all feeds into batteries and such forth. Uh, these chests are slowly being filled in. This is nowhere. Incoming train. Near Incoming train. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's nice. Nice. I Are we traveling we can, back? We can wait for it to be fully loaded and then we can go. 
I note that we've made our main base nice and secure behind walls, but our little outposts out here are very, very uh, exposed, shall we say. I would... yeah, it, it is, I would agree, yes. Hmm. The real question is, how quickly are we going to eat through this? This used to be 1 million or, uh, iron ore. We're already down to 950,000. Though well, the stone is going to last, I think, literal the life of the universe. 7, seven million. <laughs> barely even touched it. Uh, well, we are cons producing 150-ish iron ore, and we are consuming 82, 84. You can have these stats by pressing P. Uh, yes, yes, okay, I see. Yeah, we're, we're producing and we can shoot. Okay, so that's pretty good. So we're going to end up with uh, quite the backlog of iron at some point. Uh, the only problem is now delivering it. Uh, we might need a second train to have a constant delivery. Yeah, that, 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 that wouldn't go amiss. That would not go amiss. I, I feel we would need to have a passing point if we're going to have a second train. Yeah, yeah, some, of course. Some sort um, of... I mean, would we want to have a second line, or would we want to just have it in a loop, if you will? Uh, I'm trying to think uh, of all the all the different solutions I have seen over time for how to have multiple trains on one line. I, I have seen many during my my course of t captain's training. Um, <laughs> you you saw a lot about trains. Well, having being taught about space travel in a spaceship. Yeah, spa space trains. I was taught all about space trains in this thing called Space Transport Tycoon Simulator. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> they, they sat us down. It was it was quite quite tile based, but it gave us the the basic grasp on on basic transporting procedures. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, Captain, I do need to ask. Um, you you mentioned that it is quite possible that this world is uh, made by someone. So, why would you? So, why would anyone do this? So, you you mentioned that it would be only for testing you. Uh, so, uh, testing us, of course, science officer. Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking at the map. I'm like, why did the train leave? But I did The uh, <laughs> camera didn't go with it. Um, I, I feel like not only could this be tra testing us. I mean, there there are one of two scenarios that this could be either advanced races of aliens that are so stupendously and stupefyingly intelligent than us that we just couldn't even begin to guess at their motives. That's not going to stop me having to go, though. Or it's uh, high command, seeing if I am ready for Admiralty and you are ready to take command of your own ship. Uh, this does seem like the very, very obvious and logical test that they would administer to us. Well... Seems like it, and that we're running out of coal. <laughs> oh god! How much coal do we have left here? We have 160k left. Oh wow, that's that's not a lot of coal. That is not a lot of coal. Okay, let's check. The, the, the biggest the... problem is power consumption. The more engines are overworked, the more coal they're gonna be eating. Hmm. Yes. Uh, well, we do happen to have a million coal up by the oil fields. Yes, I agree. We could we could pump that down next to next to the line we've already Captain, got. I, for... I have a solution. Do you have a solution? Lay it on me, Mr. Science Officer. I would be very interested. As the I think old saying goes, we can kill two birds with one stone. That that's barbaric. Uh, why well, why it there's is, no but... birds around here? Yet another proof that this is a, an artificially created structure. Like that, there, there is literally a single species in the ecosystem here. Well, uh, well, trees and uh, the natives, yes, and the, whatever oh, two, those two, houses two are. species. I do, I do, I do stand corrected. And also, there, there appears to be all sorts of like scrub plants down here, like grasses. Uh, you are also forgetting the multiple times of different species of. Uh, natives and the worms that they keep for some kind of turret defense apparently it appears to but yeah obviously the worms are the pets uh the different types of biter i i feel like there's three different genders of biter you got the ones that run ones that spit um like the the, the half worm hybrids we won't talk about how they came into being and then the the, the, the slightly beefier ones um because as as a, a an avid 
what's the word I'm looking for? Naturalist such as yourself, uh, you you would have would have noticed the the family unit that exists between these three species. Uh, three three obvious examples of same species. Seems like it. Uh, all so I would. Um... Where I was going with uh, before we got sidetracked. Oh, I do apologize. <laughs> Pressing matters came up. Um, we can use oil, turn it into solid fuels, and power our power plants with it. A capital idea. I can't see anything going wrong with using petroleum byproducts to power the world. Um, well, Earth proved that the global warming was false, so. <laughs> it, it, it was. It, it was merely a stumbling block on our way to becoming a terraforming master race. Yeah, well, I mean, humanity has proven multiple times that when pressed uh, by either losing, uh, what's the word, comfort over nature, we win. <laughs> this, this is true. This is we we do have this uh, this ability to. Uh, Just ignore win. some natural laws. Oh, excuse me. Ignore some natural laws. <laughs> And uh, do do with it as we please. Uh, I'm gonna put down some pump jacks and try pumping this oil. These two seem a little bit close. I don't know. If it's gonna be. It's oh, gonna, we should be able it's to. Be fine. Yeah. yeah, filter it all around. Yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. I don't actually carry any pump jacks on me at the moment. I just fact, built. Them. I am full, as I have previously mentioned today, of stone walls and bullets. <laughs> I'm going to well, go find somewhere to offload them. I'm just noticing pink trees. Pink trees? Yes. On the left side of our base, near the wall, at the bottom, there are pink trees. Oh yes, the look lake. at these. Possibly magenta? Some could say red, but yeah, I... I... Oh, it this says, according to the computer, it says red tree. Indeed. As you have said, it is a red tree. Well, what, what are these labelled as? Just just tree. What about you? Red tree? Is this a yellow tree? No, that's also a red tree, despite very much not being red. Mm -hmm. Either the computer is completely colorblind, or we are. I feel like the computer might be missing a certain yellow cone or something. Okay, I need ammo. I'm setting up a little defensive bit where I'm fairly sure that we're going to have some trouble soon. If you look down by the iron iron production, the new iron production, um, to the bottom right you can see there's a whole bunch of pollution going towards a couple of biters. So I'm just kind of making some walls near... Ah, oh, I've put it just on the other side of the radar uh, range. But yeah. I'm putting some walls down to... To funnel them, but I forgot to I forgot to grab any 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 bullets because I'm genius. It's well known that, that those with a higher intellect than normal have trouble remembering things. Well, it is kind of true, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's so definitely definitely the phrase I'm going with. I'm I'm not forgetful. I'm hyper intelligent. <laughs> well, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did fill up the iron supply. Is it is it good now? Wonderful, wonderful. I'll put a little little safety wall there. Safety wall. Well, I mean, like the first wall is the defensive wall, and then the second wall is the defensive wall. <laughs> <laughs> if the first wall fails. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little, little safety wall. All right, I shall be returning back to base. But let let let's think about what. What would a bunch of hyper intelligent planet builders want to test subspecies for? Uh, obviously, they're trying to see if we are worthy of the gifts of hyper science. Okay. Yep, hyper science. Well, it's 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 like the uh, the higher dimensional science, right? Yeah, we're, we're, we're being tested on our ability to deal with the third dimension so that when we get thrust into higher dimensional spaces, our puny, puny little brains will be able to handle it. That That's what I choose to believe. I want to believe. Mmm, they sound good. Like, we're pumping oil, yet they're as squeaky as anything. Can we not get some oil leaking over the joints to, to lubricate? I mean, like, well, wow. Uh, they're most very efficient. They don't spill any. 
Well, I mean, that, that, that's my point. Maybe we could increase efficiency because obviously, like, listening to that noise, let me, let me run down there so we can listen to this noise again. I mean, some of the energy must be getting lost due to, to sound vibrations, right? That, that's how energy works. We, got, we can't create it out of nothing. We have to pump the energy in for the sound to come out. I guess, yes. The underground pipe right there just lost its point. <laughs> Uh, I did make a whole box of underground pipes. Uh, if you look over by where the trains get made, uh, I noticed that we were making some straight pipe there, so I introduced two more machines making straight pipe, and down the bottom, one of the underground pipe oh, makers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it would be helpful. And I've been standing here just making more pipes. <laughs> By hand. Okay. That's, uh, that's savage. Don't, don't you know we are masters of the future now? Yeah. We should we shouldn't build anything by hand. <laughs> Maybe at some point we're gonna have to have a car specifically just on a straight line to go back and forth along the bus to get all the different stuff. A uh, metro station. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, a metro station would be wonderful actually. Oh, how do we build a metro? Oh, we just do it with trains, don't we? A couple of yeah. locomotives, just a couple of locomotives. Train line going back. Oh man, why why have why have I not heard about metro stations in Factorio? Just a completely separate separate um, number of lines from the cargo ones. Because you you don't want to mix up your, your cargo and passenger lines because all sorts of horror, horrors happen then. Because passengers want to go everywhere, whereas cargo has a very set route about where it wants to go. And so the passengers will interfere with the cargo all the time. It's uh, It, it was a, a horror story that played out in 21st century America, where they, they couldn't decide which one got priority, and that led to the great commuter wars of 17... No, 2749, 100 years from now. Um. I can't, okay, what? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Oh, and then now, you know I'm a time traveler as well. Uh, I, I think I know why they want to test us. <laughs> first question, who's gonna break for a second question? Is he really crazy? I'm not crazy. I'm just uh, more perceptive than your average captain. Then again, this can all be just a figment of my own imagination. Uh, we're just a figment of the higher dimensional beings imagination that made this planet. Uh, that's actually it. We're getting tested in the in his dream. You assume that we're not uh, in a dream of a pet of the higher dimensional being. Oh, if not a pet, a um, a, a ver like a virtual companion, if you will. Uh, so, so one one of the higher dimensional beings got bored, decided that he was going to create. Uh, someone to talk to as a pet project, and that pet project decided to create this universe as its pet project. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> okay, so we are bringing the crude oil into this refinery where it's being broken down into what I believe to be petrol, light oil, and heavy oil. Yeah, I, I don't know quite what they mean by heavy and light oil, but, you know, we'll, we'll accept it for now. One has less density than the other, so it flows above it. Well, where, do, where does the petroleum fit? Oh, petroleum gas. Okay, so that's obviously much lighter. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yep, yep, there, there appears to be a... Oh, look, we, we, mm, if we turned the map upside down, it would be an order <laughs> of density. <laughs> well, it still is. It's just a rising order of density. Uh, then. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, not, it's not how you would imagine it if you put it all in a, in a box and shook it up. It, I mean, it's uh, my... Well, yes, okay, but... Um... <laughs> But then again, we're also looking at the... Oh, no, I'm not gonna... It doesn't correlate <laughs> to anything, but I was about to say, so no. <laughs> no, it doesn't correlate. Though, I've got to say, that is my me uh, my favourite method of filing. Put everything in a box, shake it up, and see what order it comes out in. In the 21st century, humans tended to basically make maps where the European continent was on a globe on top, and then Africa was on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, the, we call it the, uh, the North Up bias, yes. Yep. Um, then again, so why would we do that? I mean, there is literally no reason. From space, you can only... I mean, you can turn around and see the planet as you wish. So, uh, whilst I've heard that in the, the 21st century, that is the orientation that they used, the, the simple... Um, 
origins of the word Orient itself, as in the the Orientals. Uh, it, it comes from when in medieval times, I believe, we had the maps east pointing upwards, uh, and that's that's why they were called that. And that that is actually a true fact. Um, it's not a true twitchy mm. fact. It's a true real word fact. <laughs> And that was because, uh, if I remember correctly, Jerusalem was off to the east. Uh, the, the the city that, for some reason, was the central central tenant of a lot of social focus in the medieval times, shall we say? Well, then it got replaced by London, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Then, then it got replaced by the European cultures. Which like to keep their themselves at the top of the map. Obviously, holding the Swedes, Danes, Norwegians in the highest of regard. Uh, it obviously reflected how everybody uh, held the Scandinavians, as they were known at the time, in highest regard. Mm. And that is why we orientate our globes northwards because of the Vikings. Because of the Vikings. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. It's also why the Viking was the first lander we sent to Mars. <laughs> as, as I say, all the pieces are there. You just need to know where to look for them. But After that revelation, in comes a little bit of research there. Uh, what? Oh, wow, we've not done any... You know what? I've, I've researched the circuit network so many times, and I don't think I've ever actually had no. to use them, if you will. Um, no. So it's a little disappointing, if and to be honest with you, I would have would have preferred to like have to use them at some point. Um, what are we gonna actually go with here? Bullet shooting speed. I'd like to be safer. That's gonna be done in literally no seconds at all. Let, let's go down and watch watch the things run into the machine here. Uh, in fact, uh, okay. it's already done. <laughs> um, mm, I feel like we need to expand this a little bit more. I, I feel like we need still more power. <laughs> are we still short of power? Yeah, well, okay, it's where are we? So... It is night time. Are we making boilers anywhere? Boilers and steam engines. I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it as well. I'm, I'm trying to think whether it's worth now making those machines because obviously we are going to need more uh, and more as time goes on. Well, well, the thing is, uh, if we finish with uh, the oil thing we yeah. can start making accumulators and build the giant uh, solar, solar array field. okay okay we could do that so what i might do then uh, i'm looking at the setup we've already got one two three four five six seven of them on the map um shall i just make make seven up in my inventory quick if that's oh. all we're ever gonna do and for this we need water sulfur and iron okay we need to bring iron from basically to land across the two star systems. Well, I have been speaking about how my uh, my prowess as a transport master uh, <laughs> will, will, will be helping here. Uh, I'm going to light up this, this road here whilst I'm walking up. It's very dark. Good. So, science officer, I have managed to double the energy production, I think. Let's, let's have a look here. Yep, there we go. We have met our satisfaction and we are producing just a little bit over half of what we can okay good uh could you somehow figure out a way to attach iron to that iron plates i most definitely can looking at the situation there yes <laughs> there we go i guess <laughs> works for uh, me <laughs> we didn't need an underground there but okay oh yeah horrific mess i love it I was just thinking, well, as long as we don't need to tear it down and replace it again, and then I just says, yeah, I think we already tore down and replaced at least everything in the factory. By once, at least. At least once. At least once. I don't think we actually did it with this, like, green, green, um, factory production here, because we're, uh, green circuit, sorry, production here, because we, we, we laid this out and there was like, yep, that's good, that works. Yeah, I'm just looking at this, just gap, and just... You're telling me I should just move everything underneath, just one up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, look at this. Sulfur production, nice. So sulfur crystals being made. You then take in the sulfur, the iron, and a little bit of water to make sulfuric acid. Beautiful, wow. 
Science officer, I believe we have uh, done everything that we set out to do today. Had a beautiful conversation while we were at it. Oh, another step. Uh, well, oh. batteries need to be done. I didn't know batteries were made in, in these ones. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Batteries. Yay. <laughs> it works, I guess. Laser turrets are made with 12 batteries, 20 uh, green circuits and 20 and steel. Which is not the hardest thing in the world to make. So do we need to get the batteries from here back down onto the bus next episode? Yes. <laughs> well, we, we will do that then. And uh, I think with that, we're going to say Captain's Log. Signing off. <laughs> <laughs>